A subscriber of mine left a comment on one of my recent videos saying that the Martin Bacoli Sergey Kuzman fight had been cancelled. But I went online and I couldn't find any confirmation from any official sources or any of the major boxing outlets. But today, in this interview right here on IFL TV, and I say today when this video's been uploaded the next day on August 6th, uh, but at the time of recording this video, it's August 5th, IFL put this interview out with Eddie Hearn and he has confirmed that Martin Bacoli, Sergey Kuzman is indeed off. And the reason for this is that unfortunately, Sergey Kuzman's father has been battling with cancer and therefore, or he's either just, just been diagnosed or he's in the midst of a battle with cancer. And therefore, Sergey Kuzman, perfectly understandably, has decided to withdraw from the fight. So obviously our thoughts go out to Sergey Kuzman and his dad. I know most of us have had friends or family members affected by that terrible disease. Uh, cancer is no joke. So again, thoughts and prayers go out to him and his dad. Now, as far as what's going to happen by way of a replacement opponent for Martin Bacoli, Eddie Hearn didn't say, and Umar, who I do rate as an interviewer, I think he's good, he didn't push Eddie Hearn in this particular video in terms of getting him to reveal who the possible opponents could be. Perhaps Eddie Hearn had a word off camera, or perhaps there was something that got edited out. Maybe they don't want to say at the moment who they've got to replace Kuzman. But my initial reaction, obviously, to hearing this news that the Bacoli kuzman fight is off is I'm very disappointed because I was really looking forward to that fight. Both guys are at a similar stage in their careers. I think they've had an identical number of fights or there might be only one or two uh, fights difference in terms of the total number. And they both only have one loss and it was both to Michael Hunter. So this is kind of a crossroads fight or it would have been a crossroads fight. And stylistically, I think they would have gelled well. Both two big, strong, aggressive heavyweights who like to throw shots, don't really like fighting off the back foot. Kuzman had an extensive amateur background. He had some good wins in the amateurs. He knocked out Joe Joyce in one round. He also fought in the World Series of Boxing. Uh, Martin Bacoli, as we know, kind of a dark horse. I don't know too much about his amateur background, truth be told. I'm going to assume that he had a decent one. Uh, as a pro, he has that one loss to uh, Michael Hunter. But other than that, he's doing fairly well as a prospect on the way up. So yeah, it's a disappointing. I say it's a crossroads fight when both guys have only got one loss, but you know, in a way it's a crossroads fight, even though they're both at a fairly early stage of their career. It was just a good matchup. So yeah, sad to see that fall through, but totally understandable in terms of Kuzman's reasoning for pulling out. Now, Eddie Hearn's been talking about putting Dave Allen on this card, on the White Pavetkin undercard. I certainly hope that Eddie Hearn is not thinking about matching Dave Allen with Martin Bacoli. Please no. Please no. You know, I am completely understanding when it comes to the fact that it's difficult at the best of times to get replacement opponents at the last minute. That's always difficult. But under the current circumstances where Matchroom and other promotional outfits have to create these bubbles where they basically uh, isolate and quarantine the fighters in order to make it possible for them to go ahead and fight, trying to get a replacement last minute opponent in a situation like that is going to be extremely difficult, especially with all kind of travel restrictions and what have you that are still going on. So I've got all the sympathy in the world for, you know, Eddie Hearn's situation. But even still, Martin Bacoli versus Dave Allen, it's just got, oh no, written all over it. Dave Allen's a tough guy. I've got nothing against him. But Martin Bacoli, from what I've seen, he's several levels above. And I'm all about seeing competitive fights, not tough game crowd favorite Dave Allen take a steady beat in over eight, nine rounds and not really be competitive. That's not what I want to see. 
I obviously like the Kuzman fight because that's not what I expected from it. I expected a real tough back and forth battle between Kuzman and Bacoli. Whereas Bacoli versus Dave Allen, no. So we'll see what they can do. Now, they've been talking about Alan Babich fighting on this card. Bacoli versus Babich, that actually might be decent. Babich is an unknown quantity, but apparently in the amateurs, he was a bit of a handful. So, yeah, and, and Babich is quite a small guy as well. So some people are going to say he's too small to be a serious threat to Bacoli. But Michael Hunter was small. I know Michael Hunter is a different kind of fighter and he moved around and used his speed to kind of befuddle Martin Bacoli. But... um yeah, I certainly wouldn't write off Alan Babich against Bacoli. I think Babich is a very aggressive guy. I think he believes in himself. He's been calling out Hergovic, for example, his countryman. So, yeah, I think that that would be... I mean, I wouldn't be as excited for that as I would be for the bacoli Kuzman fight, but it's a decent consolation, right? At least in my mind, Bacoli versus... Uh, Babbage. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if it's not going to be Babbage, and if, God willing, it's not going to be Dave Allen, have any of you guys got suggestions for who Martin Bacoli should fight on August 22nd on the undercard of uh, Dylan White versus Povetkin? Maybe some of you have got an insight. Maybe some of you have spoken to some boxing managers on social media somewhere and they've told you behind the scenes that their fighter is the one that's being lined up to fight Martin Bacoli on that show. If that's the case, then let us know in the comment section below. And if even if you don't have that kind of information, give us some suggestions in terms of who you'd like to see Bacoli fight instead. I mean, some people are going to say, let's have Bacoli against Hergovic. I would love that fight. I mean, that's even better than Bacoli versus Kuzman, right? But it's not realistic at this stage. I hope I'm wrong. I hope we get shocked and, oh my God, they've made Bacoli versus Ergovic. But I somehow doubt that's going to happen. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I'm a glasses half full boxing fan, but occasionally, you know, certain stories pop up which are disappointing and we have to talk about those as well. So yeah, anyway, let me know what you feel, people. It's happening, I'm out.